Hey guys, I kind of pride myself on having a lot of channel points and just being a channel point connoisseur, I guess you would call it. I don't know. But anyway, I found a really amazing widget, which is a TTS hand for your channel point redeems. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Let's see how it works. So this is a TTS hey, with hand. It's a hand. Hey, look, it's a hand. Really, really odd, but I just thought it was really a cool addition to my Twitch stream. And we're going to show you in like two minutes. It's not going to take very long. So let's go ahead and get on with the video. Real quick before we begin, guys, I'm GS Fear. I am a content creator on both Twitch and YouTube. And if you have any issues with any of the tutorials I have on my channel so far, which is like 50 tutorials that you guys can use to increase your, you know, your viewer retention and just your overall experience on Twitch. Well, if you have any issues, though, just go ahead and hit me up on Twitter, Twitch. I'm on Discord. I'm on Instagram. Most of it is just GS Fear. And also, I do stream on Twitch Thursday, Friday, and Saturday if you guys want to catch me there. The links will all be in the description below. And what you're going to want to do for this tutorial is go to your Twitch dashboard. And then you're going to make a TTS channel point redeem. Now, you do have to be an affiliate or partner to do this. But you're just going to come down to the bottom here and add a new custom reward. I'm just going to go to the one that I have so far. The TTS. You can name it whatever you want to do. I just have TTS with hand. The description is TTS with hand. You do have to have this clicked on. Require viewer to enter text. And you have the cost. I personally am going to have it 1500 Possibly more in the future in case it gets spammed. So... You can then set a new reward icon. I'm not really going to do all that stuff right now. I just want to show you all what I'm working with. You can change the background color. Skip the rewards queue. You can do this if you want people to not be able to redeem it so that your mods can approve it. You don't want any cuss words on your TTS if you don't want it. Or if you don't want any racial slurs, religious slurs, whatever you don't want on your Twitch stream to be TTS, then that's cool. You can have a cooldown and limits. You can limit the redemption cooldown time. So if you don't want anybody to redeem it, you can set that up. You can limit the redemptions per stream. I would personally set this to like five or six or something. Depends on how long you stream. You could also limit the redemption by user per stream. If you don't want one person to redeem all five, six, seven, whatever number you set, you could do that. But anyway, after you set that all up, you're just going to hit save over here. So once you do that, you're going to come over here to twitch.guru. Now, this was made by Tenacious W. Him and his wife, Frankly Faye, both stream on Twitch. So what you're going to do is go over to the Talking Hand V2. And it's going to ask you to put in your username. I have mine, GSphere. And then it's going to have you create a channel point reward on your Twitch account. Make sure to tick the require viewer to enter text. So after you've done that, you can redeem the reward below. So it'll pick it up on your stream. So you just basically redeem it. Doesn't matter what you have. So we'll just kind of redeem it now. Hey, it's a hand. It's probably not going to do anything hey, for it. Hand. Oh. Apparently it will. So after it does that, it will actually go to the step three. It'll give you a reward ID. You don't need to change any of this. You can change the voice. I have mine set to Russell and you can change a sample message. If you just want to test it, I personally have mine at 10% volume just because it can be extremely loud and you don't want it to clip and just be way too loud for your viewers. So you have that to 10. There we go, 10. You can have an animation sync style, the sound playback speed, video playback speed, all this stuff you don't really, really need to change. But after you do that, you go to the browser source URL. You can just copy that to the clipboard. And then we're going to come over here to the OBS. So once we get to OBS, you are going to add a browser source. I already have my browser source set up. And you just put in the URL, the width and the height. You don't really need to change. It's pretty much good as it is and then once you add it you just test it out so twitch 
tutorial with the hand Which once you redeem tutorial it tutorial with the hand it's going to echo because you have the browser source open and you also have the web browser open as well so once we close that out here it will not do that anymore so we're just going to do one last test guys test test see it's only going to do the one time now so i hope this video did help you guys out and if it did help you out and you want to see some more tutorials like this then feel free to hit that subscribe button the notification ding ding so you don't miss any more like this and i will catch you guys in the next video which just happens to be a really helpful tool named chatty with using see-through windows in case you have just one monitor like i do and you are trying to twitch stream and also still be able to see your twitch chat so i'll catch y'all in that video peace